Hey everybody, welcome to Beta Weekend 1 of Roller Coaster Tycoon World! Earlier today, I did a live stream, and for the most part, the game visually looks amazing. I'm really pleased with the way it looks, as you're about to see in a little bit here. Problems, though, was I kept on running into a lot of game-breaking bugs. And especially while trying to live stream, it got very annoying, so I had to stop. One of them was it was crashing on startup if I had the broadcaster going. Another being if I was riding the ride and I wanted to get off the ride, the game would freeze and the only way to fix it would be to restart the game, which would mean restarting the whole live stream because the game wouldn't load if the broadcaster was on. So that was issues with that. Um, I was originally only going to upload clips from the live stream, but it was a mess because of the crashes and I was thinking, okay, maybe if I tried just recording with Fraps it'd be a little more stable. So here we go, enough talking, let's try this now. New sandbox, and this is the only sandbox available right now, Frolicking Forest. I can name the park. What do I name the park usually? Um, something about something being awesome. Awesome. Awesome park of awesome. Of Oz. Okay, good enough. Since this is a beta though, there's pretty much only building roller coasters. That's what the main focus is, displaying this new coaster building system they have. However, there's also, you could make paths now and scenery, but everything else is off limits. So this is what you see when you first enter your park. Look how amazing everything looks. So much better than that first trailer we saw. Also, they have some like Halloween decorations around here for this beta release. And I didn't make the connection at first, but the people I've made, I did say they were ghosts, but it might have something to do with the Halloween theme as well as them not being actually in the game yet. So first things first, let's look at paths. You have straight paths, they're your pretty much standard, straightforward, straight paths. See what I did there? Uh, straightforward, straight path. Uh, uh. Also, you can change the size to medium and large, which I actually didn't realize during the live streams you could actually do. Curved paths are pretty much the same thing. Same thing? No, pretty much as straightforward as straight paths, except they're curves. <laughs> Everything, curved is a curve, a straight is a straight. There you go. Q lines are Q lines. Look at that, Q line. Ooh, it glows in the dark. I did not know that. Also for scenery, there actually is a lot of scenery, surprisingly, in the game right now. You got some different lampposts, which also light up in the dark, however it's now sunny. You can place them just about anywhere. I'm really, you know, when I first heard that they were doing away with the grid system, I was kind of worried on how it would look, but I'm actually a fan. I like how everything looks and how smooth everything is, that's key. I'm surprised on how smooth it all is, probably just because in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, Everything's really choppy, especially the bigger the park gets. But everything here is just so incredibly smooth, which is really cool. Benches, I forget how to rotate though. Oh yeah, shift and mouse wheel. Instead of lifting stuff up, well it also does that, but since you can't raise scenery, it rotates stuff. And just, look at this! Ah, oh, It makes me happy seeing a game like this that's, that's working compared to what I thought it was going to be. My expectations were super low with this. And rightfully so, I'd say, after that trailer, the first trailer. And then all the problems, the game was supposed to be done in spring of 2015. So there was a lot of issues going on, which had me concerned. But what they've come up with here so far is pretty good. These fences, are they interlocking or are they overlapping? I don't know. It's like, see, I can't do anything until a certain spot. I don't know how I feel about those fences. Okay, decor, we got like a bunch of like rocks and stuff. And then trees, we can do, I'll do it with more trees. Are these bushes and plants? Yeah, hopefully they add more of them in the game. Foliage, there's actually a lot of foliage. I think there's more foliage in this beta than there was in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Look at this. And then trees, we got a lot of trees. We can place everywhere. And special, ooh, I didn't look at these. Fountains. Boom! Fountains for all. Okay. Wait, I can raise these? You see that? I can raise these. No, I can rotate. Two. I can't... Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> Didn't notice that before. Okay, enough messing around with the scenery and stuff though. Let's get to the real reason you're here. Coaster building. Now, during the live stream, I've had some difficulties with these coasters. Hopefully they fixed them within the last three hours from when I was live streaming. I'm gonna do a wooden roller coaster first just because I like building wooden roller coasters. I built a... I tried building a wooden roller coaster before, my game crashed before I got too far, and then I built a dive coaster, which is pretty much a vertical drop coaster, which had a lot of troubles. <laughs> One being, it kept on... 
What happened was they placed the pillars to like certain tracks in the way of other tracks, and when the coaster hit it, it would crash. So that wasn't a lot of fun. Also, coaster crashes in this really aren't too crazy. It's pretty much they just fall off the track, no explosions or anything. But that's besides the point. Okay, I'm not exactly sure what this means. See how there's a circle around it, and when it goes over that scenery, it lights up? I have a feeling it has to do with the excitement rating, though. Not 100% sure on that. So, stations is another cool thing they've added. Look at these things. And you can actually, I probably could have picked different stations, but I wasn't paying attention again. I didn't mean to put that there. Hold on, let me get rid of this whole thing. I want to see the other stations, to be completely honest. Wooden coaster, create a new. Okay, there's, so there's two kinds. There's this one, and then there's this one. I think this one's medieval. Medieval. Wild West themed. It definitely is. Okay. I'm going to put this one in because I feel like it. So here is the start of it. This is the new coaster building thing. It is very interesting. I'm still not 100% used to it yet, so hopefully I'll be able to come up with at least something decent here. So here we go. We're going to want to click chains first, because we want to have a chain lift first. We have it selected down here to shift and go up. So now we have a chain hill in the works. Also, the first coaster I built had an excitement rating of like 4.18. Pretty lame, but it was a stressful situation building that thing. So hopefully we can do a little better here, seeing this is like my second coaster. Okay. So how big is big enough? See, I wish this was in feet. I can judge feet better than meters. You could probably change it somewhere, not yet, because it's a beta, but in the later version, you probably will be able to change it to um, feet, which I'm more comfortable with. Okay. See, this is also something that's cool. Chain hill, crazy turn. I'm not going to do that right away, though. I'm going to try building a standard wooden coaster like I normally would build in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. The problem is, though... What I found is these this new coaster creator doesn't like certain kinds of turns. Like it, they have to be long. Like if you see, look down there where that uh, where the bottom of the track is. You can see it changing from red to yellow to white. I think that's like a danger kind of rating. Red won't work. Yellow is okay. It will work, but it'll either be too intense or there's a chance it's gonna crash. And then white means it's gonna be good. I think. That's what, I, that's what I've deduced from the live stream. Okay, see, like, right here. That's red. That's That turn is white. Instead, of, like, if I wanted to do that, look. Yellow, yellow. Okay, that's white. I mean, that's not too bad. Maybe I was just being stupid when I was first building this thing. Also, really, all I wanted to do was here was lower it a bit. I didn't want to turn it. Okay, so we are we are here. Still trying to get used to the camera options, too. How come it's turning... When I don't want... See, I'm trying to zoom in, but it's turning by itself. See how it's... I think it's following my mouse. Okay, that's definitely what's doing. So I have to do that. There we go. I just wanted to drop it a little bit so it would have a little bit of speed. And then I wanted to make it go around a turn. So I want the mouse wheel. And it, everything's pretty much mouse wheel. Curves, embankments, S-bends, all that stuff is with the mouse wheel and holding shift. Which is pretty cool. So there we go. We hold the mouse wheel. Oh there. What's interesting though is right now this is, is that yellow or, okay, it's gray. That's yellow. That is a embanked turn and it starts like halfway here and not right here. So I don't understand the best way to go about that. You know what I probably have to do is I probably have to start it here. That's probably what I needed to do. Look at, yep, there you go. And then that's also Okay. See, that's something I didn't figure out until right now. Which probably would have been good knowing beforehand. Okay. So there we go. We have our first turn. Let's see here. Let's drop it now. And did I want to... I probably want to do it like... Like that now. Okay. And then we're going to want to... Actually, I can probably click... There we go. The one, two, threes, fours, all that fun stuff. I want to make it go over on not right there. That would be pretty cool, though. <laughs> what a drop. I want it to do something here. I guess what I want to do is drop. Curve too steep. That's another notification I always kept getting. See, like, look at this. Instead of having, like, a drop like that, that's impossible. That'll never happen in this game. So what you need to do is bring it out more. And which way is this thing curved? 
It looks like it's curving back. It is curving back that way. You know what? I might keep that. I didn't want to do that at first, but I think I want to do it now. That way I can bring a turn around here. So we want to go this way now. Although I kind of wanted to be a little more over. Yeah, I wanted to be over here more before that. So that's why I actually wanted this to be a straight piece. Um, which I can edit like this. Click that. Click there. Hopefully you don't move too much stuff around. There we go. That's what I wanted. I have to be careful here, because like I said, if the track is too close to the other piece of track, it could cause something bad to happen. Okay. So we're going to bring this out like this. And you know what? I want to turn now this way. Do I want to do that now? You know what? I don't think I do. I think I want another straight piece out like this. Okay, and now is when I want to turn in this way. Although, how do I want to work this? <laughs> how do I want to do this? I probably wanted to turn. No, I didn't want to turn before. So why would I want to turn now? Okay, <laughs> let's do this. See, that's the thing. Look, now it's turning. Oh, come on, brain. Think. Like I said, it's a new system, and I'm still getting used to it. I'm doing much better than before, though, believe me. <laughs> Much better than during the live stream. Okay, there we go. And let's do this. Also, I should probably mention things like special pieces. There's a speciality thing here. Right now, all they have is a snake thing, which is literally just that. I could do that if I wanted to. Kind of lame. Um, some of the co other coasters have the loops. And a, they have a corkscrew, but it's like a helix going down. So it's not like the corkscrew in the way you think it would be from a Little Coaster Tycoon 2 or 3, which is kind of weird. Also, they don't really have any helixes. <laughs> I know I just said that the corkscrew is like a helix, but it's really weird looking and nothing like a helix should be. So I don't know exactly... I can make my own helixes, but I was having trouble with that in the uh, live stream because I kept on running into the track with my coaster and it was it was a mess. <laughs> It was actually a mess. Okay, no, I wanted to m make that back and banked as much as possible. I should really test... I mean, I'm going to test this thing now, because I don't know how much speed it's going to have through here. I want to put hills now going this way. But if I don't know how much speed it has, that might be a problem. So we run a test. There goes the train. Actually, what I should have done, which I can do right now, is change the hill lift speed. Hill lift speed? Chain speed. Chain speed on the hill. Lift. Lift. Speed. Hill. Chain. Okay, there we go. Train also, look at this. You can change the individual type of car. So I can make them all kind of... Can I select multiple ones at one time? I cannot. Not yet, at least. So I can make them all mine train cars. If you have a train right there, and look, I can make this one more train cars. But I like the actual train train. The train for the train. And colors. Color wheel, I kind of hope they bring more colors into this, to be completely honest. Because <laughs> these colors are kind of... Eh, I mean, there are, some of them are alright, but some of them... There needs to be more color to them. Look how many blues we have. Really? We have... That's the best yellow? We really don't have a red. That's more pink. <laughs> it's a beta. Calm down. <laughs> I gotta keep on reminding myself that. So, here goes the train. And you get to see it crash if it makes it, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> it's nothing too exciting. I'll probably actually upload... Huh. Hold on a second. That was interesting. I exited out of it and the train froze on the track. That might have been causing some crashes before and I could ride it right now, but I'm actually afraid to. Because, like I said, I've rode the coasters twice. First time it froze on the track and I couldn't leave. Second time, it crashed on a spot where it shouldn't have crashed, and it broke everything. So I'm afraid to ride the rides. Um. Yeah. I don't think that was supposed to happen. <laughs> um. That was a crash, I think. Let's try it again. <laughs> and hopefully that doesn't happen. I might have to, it might be the different cars. It might be the hill? It shouldn't be the hill. That was really weird. Is it going to do it again? 
it did not. See, that's the kind of thing I was working with during a live stream. No, it broke somewhere else now. See, beta, everybody. This is why the live stream didn't last as long as it did. Because things like this kept happening. And it happened frequently. Um, so let's actually change the cars back. Try it one more time. And if not, I'll have to edit the hill a bit. But I'm going to do this real quick and then end the episode here. I will be playing the game all weekend, hopefully recording these kinds of videos. Because I actually think this is... It's a lot easier... Um, recording and editing and doing it this way than during a live stream. The problem with the live stream is it's live and you have to entertain people while nothing's working, which can be very difficult. But with this, I can edit things out if they're not working or it's just a lot more relaxed, laid back kind of setting here. So here it goes back up, hoping it's going to work this time. Slow it down because I don't know if that's going to affect it or not. And down it goes. No, it bounced off the track again. Yeah, that shouldn't be doing that. I'm pretty sure that that's a bug. Because, I mean, come on, there's really... Let's look at the track, at least. Everything's green. Oh, well, let me just... If I start to... Oh, it's red there. That might have been an issue. Hold on. I like how I said I was going to end this thing real quick, but I never did. <laughs> So what if I... It might be the way the track's... There we go. Okay, let's try that real quick. And that's a, probably another issue right there with the supports, but that's not important. For some reason, though, my frames have dropped down to 20. I don't know why that is. It was going smooth until I started testing this thing. Okay, hopefully that fixed it. Go, 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 go. And if that's the case, then it brought in a bug. <laughs> Although, I don't see why that wouldn't have worked. It just kind of popped off the track there. Down it goes. It's important to pay attention to what your track's doing, as we just found out right there. Okay, good. Around it goes, down this way. Picking up speed. That's the thing, it needs more, a lot of speed. The one successful coaster I built was very slow, which was why the rating was so incredibly low on it. Around. I mean, it's going pretty fast. There goes the thing. Oh, man, the cars didn't all stack. The first time I crashed it, all the cars stacked on top of each other. It was hilarious, and I will probably be uploading that clip of that live stream to my channel. But there we go. Coaster so far. I might actually make this loop shorter so I can have more speed for these hills that I want to put in. And we will continue with this coaster in the next episode. So thank you all for watching. Leave a like and a favorite if you enjoyed the help it a lot. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you next time.